Zodiac signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, and welcome to your tarot love messages here. Today, we're going to take a look at what is it that you need to know right now at this point in time concerning a relationship or a romantic connection. So, there may be some things that you need to know about this individual that you're with, about this energy here, or just about the overall relationship, or even about things about yourself here. So, we'll see if the cards are cautioning you against something or trying to predict something for you here. This is a general reading, guys. So please just keep that in mind. Um, the messages are going to be general, guys. If you are after personalized tarot reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. So I'm going to give the cards a shuffle and see what the cards want to share with you here. So you've got the King of Swords here, okay? Knight of Pentacles. Okay, three of wands and the queen of swords okay you, you both you have both the king and the queen of swords here and of course guys uh you're coming up as both here king and queen all right so what is it that you need to know about this relationship i feel like the king of swords here is sort of inviting you to um, open yourself up here okay you may have to be a little bit more honest or transparent and translucent with yourself or with the person that you're dealing with or maybe you know the relationship is calling for it if you know if you're watching this and if you're listening to this and you want to deepen a relationship or you want to get to know one another on a more personal intimate level then it's very important that the two of you communicate okay because communication does promote trust in the relationship and it is going to you know um, it is going to enable like a better understanding of one another and i feel like the king of swords here is inviting for you to maybe be a little bit more open here okay be a little bit more open or even like a little bit more um vulnerable here now the king of uh the king of swords is someone who much like the queen of swords they you know they both have this head over heart approach so for some of you here um i don't know this message is a little bit um contradicts in some way but for some of you i'm hearing that you have to take um you have to sort of stop letting your heart guide the way um, and then you have to be a little bit more logical okay um be a little bit more logical here, a little bit more practical practical about this connection, about your intentions for the connection, about your motivations, and about this person that you're dealing with here. Because um, I'm seeing honesty, transparency, because um, the king and the queen is someone who values and places a lot of value on truth and honesty above all things, guys. Um, Some of you could also be asking too much, okay? Be careful that you're not asking too much of your person. You're not asking too much of the relationship. You're not putting too much pressure. You're not being too demanding here in a connection because it may just push your person away, okay? Or it may just backfire, you guys. Okay? Also make sure that, I don't know if this is you, you, could, you might feel... If you are feeling a little bit ignored or you are feeling a little bit misunderstood by your romantic partner, speak up because the, both the queen and the king um, encourage communication here. Otherwise, if it's in reverse, make sure because your partner may feel as though you're not giving them the attention that you need. They could also be feeling a little bit ignored here. Okay, For some of you... I feel like you need to try and be a little bit more spontaneous or let your guard down, which again, I feel like sort of ties into that, you know, being a little bit more emotionally vulnerable, a little bit more open, translucent, transparent here. Now, the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like is asking you to do some thinking here before you leap. Okay, have faith and trust in the process, but also I'm seeing that there needs to be some planning here. With the Knight of Pentacles energy, because this is a, um, a think first, act later kind of mentality. For some of you, the relationship that you're currently in, okay, this current romantic partner, okay, um, he or she can be a little bit stubborn, they can be a little bit strong headed, they can be a little bit stuck in their ways. For some of you, this is a long term relationship because I'm seeing des uh, distance between the two of you, a distance of geography. Um, and I feel like the Knight of Pentacles, as well as the Three of Wands here, is telling you that there is a difficult road ahead. 
okay so if you want to know what your relationship will be like weeks or months from now it's not going to be easy but i don't want you to be put off by this guys i don't don't want you to sort of you know pull the plug on this connection because it won't be easy okay but will it be worth it absolutely so the knight of pentacles here i feel like is telling you that for some of you if you really want this connection to work it can but i feel like there's you're going to have to do some planning okay some planning around this connection for some of you i see that in months in a couple of months time some of you are going to be planning to visit each other especially for those of you that are doing long distance or you could be planning for a road trip or a getaway this is going to really enhance your relationship and it's going to bring the two of you closer together on a much more intimate and physical level guys um, you know when you draw the three of wands in which you in, in this case which you have done this tells me that you're in it for the long haul okay and that this person that you're currently with this energy they're in it for the long haul here okay so again they may be a little bit difficult they may be a little bit stubborn and this connection may not be easy and you know long distance is never easy here so yes there is a difficult road ahead but if you can sort of navigate you know if the two of you can find a way to navigate this um you know this um, rocky roads then I do feel like there's definitely it's going to be very rewarding it's going to be worth the efforts here um, for some of you I feel like you, you actually have to pause okay the nine of pentacles is telling you in combination with the three of wands to pause some of you need to pause and you need to look what's in front where you're going because some of you I feel like you need to redirect your energy okay this connection some of you are in a relationship and you have certain expectations from the connection okay so the needs and expectations they're not being met okay so you either need to redirect your pathway with this individual or you need to redirect your focus here guys because some of you i feel like you need to carefully evaluate where it is that you're going okay to do some planning maybe even some redirecting maybe even like switching up um paths here okay um getting your head down and working through this connection one step at a time so again the road's not going to be easy with this individual the relationship's not going to be easy um there is going to be some setbacks there is going to be some um, difficulties but if you can um if you can sort of work through this one step at a time it'll be extremely an extremely rewarding connection and again i feel like for a lot of you this connection the cards here are telling us that you know you're in it for the long haul as are they here guys okay because i feel like a lot of you are just you're discovering right now this connection that you're in you're discovering what true commitment look you know really looks like and a lot of the times it's not the fantasy version it's not always fun it's not always flash it's not always easy it is difficult it can be challenging it can be you know um exhausting but again, this is, you know, commitment and this is long haul energy, guys. All right. And these are your messages. Thank you guys for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing. Um, I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages. So stay tuned. Bye for now.